Every deal starts somewhere. Let's watch this one. Company A and Company B. Our company develops machines. Great, we should collaborate. What services can you provide? Whatever you want. So Company A's representative returns to his office to give his development department the good news. He's talking to the project manager. We're going to start delivering the total offer. Isn't that great? You, you sold what? You know, service, value, that stuff. So the product manager returns to his desk and looks at the product. We used to sell you as just a product, but now you should deliver value. Gosh, how should I make you a service? I can't start off by asking the same questions as in product development. What are the needs, requirements, risks? This doesn't make sense. Fulfilling the requirements is one thing I know how to do, but in this case, how do I know what the requirements are? Who is the user, and what are their needs? What possibilities for combination do we have? How do we do it? If we should deliver a total offer with an increased customer value combined with optimal resource utilization for the company, I need help. The scope is too big. The product manager walks down the road of PSS, shaking his head in confusion. Where should I start? I must assemble my team. So, as a start, a team consisting of different knowledge domains at the company is assembled. Development engineer says, What product features bring value to the customer? Management asks, How long will the physical goods last? Production engineer wonders, what manufacturing methods should we use? The product manager has included both people from product and service development and realizes that they do not have a common ground. The product engineer says, well, what are my initial figures to base the development on? The service engineer asks, what are the products we are maintaining? The product manager does not understand the fuss but thinks that he has the full picture. Okay, let's do it. The design guy tells his view about the problem. Well, as I see it, the stress is too high. But the service guy understands it totally differently. Oh, he's stressed? But what about the customer? Did he get the service and value he needed? Oh.